What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Just Dex. I'm back. After a long time, a lot of y'all don't know me, but you will. I'm a driver here at Prime Inc. I've been driving for just under two years, like literally like maybe 10 days short of two years or something like that. But I got some big stuff going on today. I had a big decision to make. I could either go with a whole new company or I could stay with Prime and try to bring y'all some content. And I have aspired to do so for so long and I've been BSing. As y'all see from my channel, I'm not no new channel. I've been doing this for a minute. I just ain't never really tried to push my content as far as truck wise. So I deleted all my other videos. I didn't archive them all, starting a whole new journey and I wanna take y'all with me. Today, I have to go and do something with this rig out there. If y'all see my baby right there, it has been so good to me for so long, but we are trading her in today because I am currently um, ending a team lease. I've been leasing with my partner. Shout out to one Rock Cam. A lot of y'all already know him. He's huge in the trucking community. Shout out to bro. But I've been teaming with him up to about the two year mark and we decided to part ways. We'll get into that another day. But for today, we're gonna be turning that truck in. And I'm gonna take y'all along on the journey with me as far as getting my new truck, getting my first load, my first week out, kind of some paycheck stuff. Uh, the whole nine the whole nine so if you want to see some content as far as like being in school and how orientation and stuff goes comment that down below i'll either do one or two things i recommend somebody's video who i feel like has a realistic you know day one day two day three type of thing or i just do my thing like i've been doing and i'll tell y'all kind of how it went because i remember it all it was two years ago but this is all i've been doing is driving this truck y'all for the last two years so i remember all the details all the ins and outs so we about to go ahead and put a jacket on and we're gonna go and deal with that blizzard outside I was going to wear the chest strap so I could show y'all kind of like a POV for some of the clips. It's charging though, bro. I ain't used that GoPro in so long. Again, I've been procrastinating with the content, but we about to go ahead and head to the detail shop and I'm going to take y'all with me. Let's get it. First thing first, let's make sure I got everything. When you go to Prime, they'll always give you a room depending on where you stay. I don't know where you're going to stay depending on their availability and this, that, and the third, but they always going to make sure you got somewhere to stay and usually you be uh, with another roommate. As y'all see by this mess in this room. I ain't got no roommate, bro. I got here yesterday. They let me have a whole room. That's my bed. I've been sleeping on the top bunk for literally two years, y'all. So this is about to be a big transition for me. But that's some of my other stuff. And we don't waste nothing. That's my root beer. And please believe I took it out of that truck. And we're going to make sure we enjoy him. All right, y'all. Let's get it. This is called Campus Inn, y'all. Hold on. This is called Campus Inn. There is a bunch of rooms. We got housekeeping and all. If y'all see down there, way, way, way down there, you got housekeeping doing their thing. But Prime owns all of this, bro. It's a huge school, an amazing school to start off with. If you're starting out looking for a trucking company, looking to get your CDL, this is a great place to start. Like I said, they own this whole school. It's like, it's almost like an apartment complex that they bought. But yeah. Blizzard, y'all. Y'all, it is so cold. Like, literally. I don't know if y'all can see that, bro, but you can literally, I'm blowing my air in the in, inside the truck, and it's still, like, icy, like frost. You know what I'm saying? We're about to go ahead and start this guy here, though. Whew. The one experience I can't give y'all is the experience of learning how to drive. Um, y'all gonna get to see me get better at backing. I think I got some room to grow in that even after two years. My goal with this channel is I'm gonna bring y'all a level of content that y'all maybe have not experienced yet with trucking. I know it's a lot of truck YouTubers out there, but I just feel like I could put my own touch on this, my own little razzle dazzle, and that's the goal. But right now, we're going to the detail shop. That's the shop where you get all sorts of, obviously like the name, you get detail work done. So today, we need the detail shop to put my passenger seat back in. We took the passenger seat out because it's been two of us in here all this time. Trust me, I know two years is a long time to share a little bedroom with somebody on wheels. I'm gonna just say that. But um, if you look in front of me, this is all frosty. So yeah, even my um windshield wipers won't come on. So. We're gonna turn on the defrosters for a few minutes, see if I could kind of defrost some of that after I start the truck up. And yeah, I'll keep y'all updated with this whole situation. 
I've been here for like five minutes and as you see, ain't nothing changed. I'm about to go and try to uh, lift off my wipers, lift my wipers off of the frozen part. Hopefully I can get the windshield wipers to at least start trying to knock off some of that frost. It is so cold, Lord God. Woo! It's like, you need gloves cold, bro. All right, we're gonna give it another five minutes. All right, y'all, I didn't bend another, hold on. I keep forgetting y'all probably can't hear me. But it didn't been another like 10 minutes or so. Uh, I talked on the phone to the prime people. They told me to pull up to Bay 11. So I done already got the frost off the windshield. I'm about to go into my PC. We're gonna move this guy all the way to Bay 11. We need some fuel, but we turning this truck in. So prime needs some fuel, not decks. But yeah, man, about to head over there. Uh, obviously, I gotta put the camera down and I ain't got the GoPro, so I can't even show y'all how I'm doing it. But give me a little while. We're gonna get everything situated. I'll talk to y'all when we get to that Bay 11. All right, y'all, I just got to the detail shop. Um, bro, I had a, a attitude. They always do, though, I don't know. I don't know if he mad because it's cold or he mad because of what he was on the phone dealing with because he asked me, was I the one that something with some glue? I'm like, nah, I'm here to get my passenger seat installed. He said, oh, you gotta come talk to Terry, park out there. I'm like, bro, I ain't never, ain't, I don't want no problems. I'm just trying to get the seat installed, trying to follow the policy, but anyway, about to take y'all in there with me. Hopefully it goes smooth. I'm gonna go speak to whoever Terry is. And yeah, we just gonna see how it go. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go in at, y'all. He wasn't about to answer no extra questions. Bro had, he looked like somebody eating his cereal. I talked to Terry. <laughs> Y'all know how I be though. I don't know who Terry, Terry. is. That's Terry, me. hello, okay. I needed to, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, let's, I'm out of here. You guys. I needed to see about getting my passenger seat installed. They told me to come and talk to you and see, kind of, I don't know, I guess when you guys could get me in or something. I don't even necessarily need it. I just right. turn in the truck in, and I assume we have to put it back in there before I turn uh, it in, right? Oh, no, no, we'll put it in. Really? That's yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been last week. Okay. I'm going to in. I'll put one in when we need to. Yeah. Sounds good. I should have talked to somebody first. Thank you. All right, y'all. Well, that was good news. I don't know if y'all heard that, but she said, I don't even have to put a seat in before I turn it back in. Literally. I don't have to do anything. Just turn the truck in. So, my team driver, uh, he'll have to go and get whatever he wants up out of there. And I'm going to get the rest of my stuff out. And we gonna turn it in just like that. I'm about to tell him the news I just got. We gonna see what he say. It's freezing, y'all. It's just crazy. I don't know if y'all can see this, but this gotta be a frostbite symptom. Look at that. Why do my fingertips... What's going on, bro? For these people waiting to get a, a truck wash. I don't know what's going on today. Nobody... <laughs> nobody else in a good mood. <laughs> Still ain't got used to that. I ain't never got used to just how weird it be feeling when everybody looking at you, you got your camera. But I don't know if y'all heard, she said that uh, we don't have to take the seat off when we turn the truck in. So other than that, y'all, I'm up here at the uh, Millennium Building. Millennial Building. I already bought some fruit, both of these. And I got a breakfast sandwich on the way. Also, I don't know if y'all know this, but if you drive for Prime, they do like holiday. I don't want to call it a bonus because it ain't really a bonus, but when you drive through the holidays, they put your name in like this little raffle. So look. I don't know if y'all see that. That thing. Depending on how many days you drive, how many times they put your name in there, they pull your name. You could win like a truck. You got a few trucks they be giving out. You could win a truck or uh, they do like cash bonuses and uh, like truck payments and all type of stuff. I need y'all to see this food. Quarter overtime. Gotta go in here and put all these videos on private, y'all. Every single one of them. I should leave some of these up. I might leave some of the trucking videos up so y'all can see. I've been doing it for a little while, but all the rest of this stuff, it gotta go. Alright, y'all. This is what we 
really looking like. Still working on these strawberries. Look at this. Remember I told y'all we got a chef in here? I thought I was playing. Yeah. It was like six dollars, y'all. Got a cup of water too. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I'm gonna tap back in with y'all when I get done eating. Alright, I don't know if y'all remember when I was walking up against that trailer, but I got a whole bunch of white stuff on the side of my jacket. Now we in here waiting on this, right? Which would be no big deal because I ain't got nothing better to do, right? But look at this. My phone is on 1% too. So now I gotta sit up in here and wait this whole 23 minutes. I'm about to stop it early. 23 minutes for it to finish washing my jacket. Y'all seen it live in action. I always do something stupid. Can y'all see that? He was gonna try to find Quan. He told me he wanted me to pick him up, but ain't no telling where he at. And my phone dead. We're gonna go to the church, charge the phone up real quick. Try to text him and see. Ooh, it's cold. Y'all don't understand. It is so cold. What's good, y'all? Now I gotta try to find the truck. I done had fun or whatever. We didn't really get too much done today. But I did get to get y'all a little look at the campus. We'll turn it up tomorrow. And starting a new journey and I want to take y'all with me. Let's do it. 